Just before 9 a.m., Cabazon Sheriff Station deputies received a vandalism call concerning a man throwing a rock at a woman's car causing significant damage. The incident occurred in the unincorporated area of Riverside County, north of Interstate 10 near the Whitewater Cutoff Road. 911, what's the address of your emergency? It's CHP with the transfer. She's calling from the Rock Supply at 58645 Whitewater Canyon Road. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Hello, we were on the um, Whitewater Canyon Road and somebody was by the side of the road throwing rocks onto the road and he came up to the car with a really big rock and smashed the windshield. Okay. Was the vehicle parked at the 58645 Whitewater? No, that's just where we pulled off right now to get away from him, but then also, like, my mom is full of glass. Okay, so where were you at when he smashed your window? Uh, right at the, right when you turn onto Whitewater Canyon Road, like getting off the highway. You get off the highway, I think it's, like, on Tipton Road, and then you turn left onto Whitewater Canyon Road, and then that's where he was. He was throwing rocks, like, into the road. Onto the freeway or Whitewater? Onto the Whitewater Canyon Road. One of our deputies, who happened to be in the area of the call, saw the suspect, later identified as Gabriel Munoz Jr., causing major damage to a car using a tire iron and other objects. The damaged vehicle was parked on Tipton Road that parallels the north side of Interstate 10. Munoz walked south toward the freeway, across the freeway off-ramp at Tipton Road, then crossed the four westbound lanes of the freeway into the center divider. Fearing Munoz would be hit by a car, the deputy drove down the off-ramp into oncoming traffic of the westbound lanes of the freeway in an attempt to stop the traffic using his overhead lights. Munoz scaled the guardrail, separating the lanes of traffic, and appeared as if he would cross the eastbound lanes. Seeing the deputy, Munoz returned to the center divider and began walking toward the deputy who was stopped in his vehicle in the westbound lanes. The deputy exited his vehicle and told Munoz to stop and drop the tire iron. Munoz refused and continued to advance toward the deputy. As Munoz crossed the guardrail in front of the deputy, the deputy continued to yell instructions while walking backwards and into the westbound traffic lanes. The deputy yelled at Munoz several times to drop the weapon, but Munoz said nothing while he advanced toward the deputy with the tire iron in his hand. As he neared the deputy, Munoz switched the tire iron to his right hand and began to raise it. At that time, a deputy-involved shooting occurred. This is the body-worn camera footage from the involved deputy. Sir, I need you to drop the items. Throw them on the ground. Can I fly? He's walking away from the vehicle. He's still on the Whitewater cutoff road, but he's walking towards the freeway side. He might be trying to cross the fence towards the freeway, towards the off-ramp. Born in 02, the first name is... Yeah, uh, it's the westbound off ramp. Yeah, he's walking out towards the freeway. Last night, CHP needs to uh, get out that way and possibly stop that traffic. He's gonna walk out into it possibly. Crossing over the off ramp, possibly still walking towards the freeway. And then he's got southbound hits on the five at four in the morning. So, yeah, I think he's uh. Might be taking money, but I'm gonna go down the on ramp and try to stop this traffic before he gets ran over. But yeah, he's right, running over the freeway, he's trying to run to the westbound side, correction, eastbound side. So, are we giving the shot now? I, all right, he's in the center median, he just threw down the weapons. I'm going to be rolling a brake key traffic from the 111. 
He's in a center median. He's not going across anymore. So if one of the Baker units can come up the west eastbound side, uh, we are just on the east uh, uh, Whitewater overpass. Can you check? Can you just check for me? That was it. I mean, I can call back and tell him. Can you Don't come closer! Don't come closer! Don't come closer! I'm gonna start drop it. Like I got one at gunpoint, he's coming at me. I got nothing else other than my gun. So I'm gonna shoot you. I'm gonna shoot you. Drop it. Robert can have five shots fired. Here is a replay of Munoz's actions at half speed. The suspect, Gabriel Munoz Jr., a 40-year-old resident of Cathedral City, died at the scene.